Yeah. You guys into podcasts, man? Huh? Yeah. Podcast, podcast, yeah. You guys into antipsychotics and mood stabilizers? <laughs> what? More podcasts? Okay, okay, okay. I know what I'm dealing with the podcast crowd, man. I've been uh, on and off a bunch of antipsychotics and mood stabilizers over the years. Whatever. It's cool. It's chill. One of the weirdest ones I was on for a little while was called Saffris. And it wasn't weird so much because the nightmares or like the boner situation. It wasn't the tricky boner situation or the nightmares. Um, it was weird because the way it was marketed on the box. This is what it said. It said Saffris. Black cherry flavor sublingual atypical antipsychotic. <laughs> oh, yummy! Oh, delish! Finally, a black cherry flavor. We hope if you take this, you'll stop going crazy, pal. Oh, tastes so good in my tummy tum tums. Wait a second. Any chance you got that shit in blue raspberry or cookies and cream? Huh? Come on, help a brother out. I'm seeing dead people over here. What's that now? Side effects include flavor overload. Oh no, not flavor overload. It's too delicious. I can't handle it. Kool-Aid guy bursts through the wall. Take your pills, psychopath. <laughs> well, yeah, man. I got bipolar disorder. It's so cool. Ladies. I got it, man. Every few years, my brain chemistry makes me think I'm Jesus. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Yeah, hello. Cool. Yeah, it's weird, you know? And also, I have bipolar 1 disorder, which in the medical community, they refer to that as, as classic bipolar. Classic bipolar, man! Yeah, my mental illness is basically the Rolling Stones album Sticky Fingers, you know what I mean? Classic! My mind is sort of like the Beatles' White Album, really, of like being crazy. Uh, it's pretty cool, you know? And it's just so brave of me to talk about it publicly, you know? Like getting rid of one of the last stigmas that's left talking about it, mental illness, owning it through comedy, holy shit, so you guys get to feel less uncomfortable, me being vulnerable, you're like, wow, I can't believe he's doing this, I feel so at home, because he's talking about this thing, and he's so opening up, and it's beautiful, but he's also kind of being an arrogant, self-absorbed douchebag about it at the same time. I didn't even know that was freaking Impossible, man! It's so refreshing! It's such a breath of fresh man! You know? Thank you, thank you. You know, you guys can clap together at the same time. Like, this is my fucking special, guys. If you even think in your mind to clap, fucking clap! Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, like the first clap, like when I did this, I went, Bleh! right? You're supposed to have clapped like 10 seconds before you started clapping. I mean, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I shouldn't have to tell you, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, you're cool, you're cool. <laughs>